and they help him. What I'm saying to you is this, that you can't do it by yourself. But you got to know that you got to come out of this with your hands up. I know, I know, I know. Nobody wants to hear this, but I got to say it. That when, I, I, I like watching law enforcement shows, cop shows, SWAT shows, even in the midst of what's going on. But I like watching the old westerns. <laughs> Marshall Dillon, Wyatt Earp, Doc Holliday, all them, yeah, yeah. Virgil Earp, yeah, yeah, yeah. I like, I like to watch all them. And so, what's one thing that they say in the old westerns, when they got the bad guys, and it's always an abandoned hut. I, I, don't, I don't understand that. <laughs> they say, come out with your hands up. <laughs> Y'all gonna help me here. And that always wanted to me, why? If you got me surrounded, and, 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 and I, 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 I get it, you, I'm caught. But if I'm the bad guy, I should come out firing. Come out fighting. But they always say, come out. With your hands up. <laughs> Lord have mercy. And I begin to, to, to think about that. Why did I come with the hands up? Well, I realize that one, I'm surrounded. That I got sin on every hand. Y'all need to help me right now. I, I've got troubles on every hand. I, I, I've, got, I've got brutality over here. I've got corona over here. I, I've got a bad education system here. I've I got bad voting practices here. I've I got poor health over here. I, and, and I'm stuck. Y'all are going to help me right now. Huh? And, and I got to come out with my hands up? And I hear the Holy Spirit say, yeah, come out with your hands up because you ain't got the power to fight all of these. Y'all are going to help me right now. But if you come out with your hands up, uh, it means that you surrender your power to a higher power. Huh? And what I'm trying to let somebody know today uh, is that you got to come out with your hands up, with your mouth open, praising the Lord, because you can't handle this by yourself. Uh, you can't do this by yourself. Uh, but I know somebody you can call on. Uh, you can call on the name of Jesus. Uh, because at the name of Jesus, uh, every demon must tremble. Uh, at the name of Jesus, uh, there's power in his name. Oh, I wish I had a church right here. I think I would tell you this. In the name of Jesus, uh, that God knows uh, exactly what we need uh, and that we've got to surrender uh, and come out uh, with our hands up. Uh, I come out with my hands up, uh, not because I'm surrendering to it, uh, but I come out with my hands up because I know uh, that the power uh, of God can get me through it. Uh, I'm coming out of this uh, with my hands up. Uh, I'm coming out of cancer. Uh, I'm coming out of diabetes. Uh, I'm coming out of I'm coming out of police brutality. Uh, I'm coming out of 45. Y'all gonna help me right now. I'm coming out of a bad government. I'm coming out of bad finances, bad marriages, troubled kids, drug use, alcoholism. I'm coming out with my hands up. You've got to come out of it rejoicing with your hands up. The problem is we put our head down, put our hands down, and we got the nerve, Lord, to make a way. He ain't going to make a way like that. Lord, you're going to make a way because I give it back to you. That's the attitude we got to have. That's the mentality we got to have. The problem is that we walk around with this broken spirit and we think that, that, that if we just be humble, we, we just be quiet, that, that, that God will get us on by. But sometimes you got to open up your mouth and you got to rejoice even in the midst of it. Do I got anybody that's on the ether waves right now that you can rejoice in the midst of what all that's going on? Do I got anybody in Springfield right now that can rejoice knowing that you can, you can, that, that, that you can rejoice knowing you got all the hell that's going on around you right now? Y'all I get excited when things start to happen. Why? Because I know God is shifting. God is moving. God's about to do something great. The Bible said this way in the book of James. It says that, 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 that y'all, I've learned that I must be content and be happy in various trials. Why? Because I know I can count it all joy. Come out of this. With your hands up. The text would tell us that they fought all day. 
And after a while, Joshua overcame the Malachites, killed them all by the sword, all because Moses had his hands up. He had Aaron and her on one side, helping him. And y'all, that, that must have been a sight. I'm fighting. But every so often I look to the hill <laughs> to make sure God is still there. Y'all, y'all ain't gonna help me. Right? Some of y'all to catch it on, on the way home. I'm, I'm, I'm fighting, but, but I still gotta look back to be sure God is still with me. Y'all, y'all ain't gonna help me. And then I get so confident that I ain't gotta look back because I know He's there. That's how we have to be. That, that, that we can't think God's going to be there. We've got to know that God's going to be there. See, I, I, you know, things happen. I used to get all upset, worry, can't sleep, headaches. But I said, where's my faith? Where's my faith? Where is my faith? If I got to worry about what's going to happen next? I don't have to see it. I got to just know it. Dr. King said it this way. Dr. Dr. King said, faith is walking up the staircase and not seeing all the steps. <laughs> Lord, have mercy. We walk by faith and not by sight. Because you're coming out of this with your hands up. Wherever you are right now, I want you just to lift up your hands. As you lift up your hands, I want you just to just say this with me. Father, I give it all to you. I trust you in everything that happens in and out of my life. Lord, have mercy. Because I know that I can't handle it. I wasn't designed to handle it. I was designed to give it back to you. Today is my last day with my head with my head held down. But today is the first day that I come out of this with my hands up. If you can say that and you believe that and you live by that, watch how God will change and transform your life. Let's bow. Heavenly Father, We come and we say to you, we know we can't change our past. We know that things have happened that we wish we could change. But that's all in the past now. We know that things go on every day that we have no control over. But that's not our concern either. Father, what we do know is that all we have to do is lift up our hands and say to ourselves that we know a God who can handle it. Father, you specialize in doing things that seem impossible. So today, Father, we give it all back to you. We give our finances, marriages, children, Jobs, viruses, civil unrest. We give it all to you right now. Poverty, we give it all to you, Father. Drug use, alcoholism, teenage pregnancy. We give it all to you right now, Father. Because we don't have the power to change any of it. But Father, we do know that if we lift up our hands, that you can recognize and then you will mobilize to move in our lives. But Father, we give thanks because you could have taken us out a long time ago. You could have called us home while we were still yet sinners, but yet you gave us another opportunity to lift up our hands and give it to you. So, Father, today we pray for those that don't know you in the pardon of their sins. Father, right now we pray for those that 
that know you, but, but they have walked away from you. But, Father, we, we know they can come back. Father, we also we pray for those right now that have stood on the wall, Father, that have stood on the battlefield. But yet we got to look to the hills. When we look to the hills, Father, we know that you are still there. So, Father, right now we come and we lift up our hands. We come and we have praise on our lips. And, Father, we, leave, we lay everything at your feet. Now, Father, bless those that are sick and shut in. Bless the less fortunate. Bless the homeless. Bless those that don't have enough food to eat. Bless those, Father, that are battling this virus right now. Pray for our frontline workers. And, Father, yes, even pray for law enforcement. Pray for the protesters, Father. Yet we're protesting for a great cause. Father, I need us for our protest to have power at the voting box. So send us understanding. Not only that, Father, pray for those that are just lost. Lost their way, but we know that you can touch them and bring them home. Not only that, Father, but I ask you, Father, now to look upon this community. Pray for all the churches in this community. Bless them right now in a mighty way. Each and every pastor, each and every congregation, those in the community, touch them right now, Father. Touch this to Springfield Church. As we continue to do what you have asked us to do, which is to go out and to preach the gospel, teach the gospel into this world. Touch this now, your manservant. Touch now, my family, Father. Continue to give us the strength that we need to continue to be servants here at this, your church. For, Father, they're not my people. They're yours. Father, I ask that you continue to give me what they need so, they can, so that they can be fed. With all these, Father, we say thank you. Father, we say thank you because I know that you're already moving right now. Father, I have faith that you're already moving right now. And we say thank you. For all these blessings we ask in your name we pray. And the people of God said amen, 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 and amen. Just before we go, we may have some in our listening area, viewing area, that have young people at home. And I want to say this, that the schools are still going to be providing lunches. Um, we will get those pickup sites on our, on our uh, Facebook page. But I want to say this. If you know you have young people at home, and once we give you these pickup sites, go make sure that they get lunch. If we don't use a service, they'll get rid of a service. I know it's tough. I know it's tough. They eat all the time. I get it. Trust, no first hand. But if a service is offered, please, ma'am, please, sir, use it. Use it. Don't be so pride, prideful that you can't go and get some help. Can I say this? We all need help. Amen? We all need help. And if you need help, let us know here at the Springfield Church. If we can't do it, we'll find somebody who can do it. But if you need the help, let us know. I know things are tight. I know things are stringent. But, but I want to say this to you that you have an advocate. You have an advocate in Christ. And that's the Springfield Church. For it's not about just our members. It's about this community. Utahville, Holly Hill, Cross, um, Santee, amen, amen. We are here to serve this community. And if we can't serve the community, we ought to take a missionary out of our name. Oh, I know I'm going to get some flack about that. It's all right. I, I still love you. We have to live up to what we're called. 
So if you need help, let us know. Now, let me say this. I think I need to be clear. Don't be frivolous in the help. If you have a need, we will help. A need is not a want. I want a steak and lobster tail <laughs> for Father's Day. I don't need that, <laughs> but that's what I want. Hint, hint. <clears throat> But if you have a need, we're here to help with the needs. And we may can't help everyone, but we'll, we'll do our best to try to find you the help that you need. But those, those, the, the school district, Orangeburg School District will still be providing lunches. Um, I guess it's a first come, first serve basis, I'm assuming. But we will get you information about that, and we will get that out to you this week um, and about those pickup times and about those, lo those locations so that you can go pick up the lunches for the babies, amen? They need to eat. They gonna eat. Have a rule in our house that the grandma and the baby gonna eat. <laughs> I might get the scraps, but the grandma and the baby gonna eat, amen? Because they need to eat, amen? Amen. God bless you. We thank you. See you next Sunday, virtual communion. Communion pickup, hopefully, hopefully, weather will prevail. Third Sunday, Father's Day, amen, amen. We'll be preaching from the portico. I somebody said, what's the portico? The porch, amen. <laughs> preaching from the steps of the house. Amen, amen, amen with it. I'm excited about that, amen. God bless you, and we thank you. Have a great week. Catch you on Wednesday for our prayer call, amen. <laughs>